back and uh, already bands in set here um, that is the Esmeralda and the Selena taken out by Malaysia and Myanmar taking out uh, possibly the best side lane in the game right now Uranus and of course everybody's favorite carry Claude but as uh, PNK here is picked up by Malaysia Chantel do note Luo Yi is out Talk us about talk talk us through that. I mean, we you mentioned something earlier about the yeah. Thing. Your team actually for uh, Team Malaysia, what's different for uh, this both teams? Team Malaysia really won the Group A with the Luoyi pick. Uh, that was the difference with Group B. For Group B, the Luoyi was actually totally bad uh, for the majority of the game. So that is one story to be uh, talked about for this game. I guess for Team Malaysia, they need to be prepared if this Lu Luoyi is uh, picked. Or maybe if uh, this Lu Yi, uh, but I guess it's gonna be picked here for uh, Team Myanmar. But speaking of which, for uh, the Lu Yi pick, it's a one hell of a hero that brings about damage. Even the crowd control, it is uh, a really difficult hero to predict. So you don't yep. know when it's coming. You don't know when it's where it's going to be exact. So I like it uh, that Team Myanmar goes for it. When in fact this is the team that was uh, kind of neglected of having the Lu Yi pick for the Group yep. B. Yep. So what you're saying is Malaysia um, plowed through Group A because oh. not many of them understood the Luo Yi just yet. And now that Myanmar here, obviously one of the best Luo Yi uh, team users uh, in all of uh, the SE Invitational, they made it to the playoffs. Now that they're trying to give your Malaysia a taste of their own medicine. I'm excited for this, but real quick, let's look at the first picks here. Uh, again, PNK. Farsa and um, mm -hmm. Ling for Malaysia, while Myanmar picks up uh, the Luoyi, the Kufra, and the Tams. Nothing here out of the ordinary. This is all just as as we uh, usually see. Yeah, you have been. Although for uh, Team Myanmar, um, I like uh, their lineup actually because it's more of the AOE. I mean, it's uh, really meant for the team fight. I like for uh, Malaysia, it's all about the timing of their skills. So I guess for uh, Team Myanmar, they should. Um, again, a hero that could uh, go uh, head to head against this uh, Kufra, maybe not at last. So, for uh, this one, all the for Myanmar and the Malaysia, they ban out this um, um, Hayabusa and Exporg for uh, the second battle phase. So, it's more on a uh, Malaysia um, uh, trying to predict maybe that, that this might be a Hayabusa funnel oh, here okay. for Team mm -hmm. Myanmar. But again, for mm -hmm. Myanmar, it's going to be the Jawhead. So, speaking of side lanes, um, here for Myanmar, it's a really good pick. We have the Tams and the Jawhead on the lineup. Yeah, um, good pick up on the Jawhead, although I do feel that Malaysia's Hayabusa ban is relatively irrelevant. Relatively mm -hmm. irrelevant. All right, I, I thought I said the same word twice. <laughs> but because, listen, right? Whenever you have the Popol and Koopa, you obviously want your opponent to pick up the Hayabusa because that's an extra body on the map. You always have uh, the failsafe from the shadow kill. So I don't know why Malaysia here banned out the Hayabusa. It's, it's, it boggles my mind at this point. But nonetheless, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Right? Yeah, actually, I'd rather go for the Lancelot banner yes, instead yes. of the Hayabusa ban. Yeah, yeah because let, it, it let is them, more... On... Let him yeah, fall yeah, into yeah. the trap. Let him, let him fall for it. I don't know. Uh, Malaysia here... Uh, we haven't seen them in a while, possibly in more than a week. But uh, nonetheless, they finish up their draft here with a Cho and a Masha. Uh, again, making a few appearances here in uh, the uh, Invitational. As well, uh, Myanmar closes up the lineup with their uh, funnel of choice. It's going to be the Roger. Now, Chantel, I gotta ask you this question. <laughs> How do you feel about these two lineups? <laughs> with that weird ban on Hayabusa, um, withstanding, you don't have to think about that. We just look at the main five versus five. Um, which team do you think is uh, ahead here? I'll go for uh, the lineup of uh, Team Myanmar because uh, this is Roger we're talking about. Uh, if we uh, go for the comparison of this uh, funneling... Myanmar here, I, I believe, is ahead. So we'll see now, ladies and gentlemen, Thank who you. will go ahead and take game number one. For uh, Team Malaysia, we, we've mentioned Masha uh, having a lot of uh, appearances here for the Razors Invitational. I guess for Team Malaysia, this is going to be their backup uh, strategy if ever mm -hmm. this link goes uh, outside of their supposedly gameplay for this cell uh, match so it's gonna be more of the split push here so i guess for team myanmar they need to be wary of that they need to negate this match pick because we see Shams have actually on the top vision actually information for team myanmar he wants to go to delay that uh, orange buff against team malaysia mm -hmm. definitely and uh 
that plan uh, might have to be uh, put back on the corkboard because both teams are going to stay relatively to their own side of the map. But Hiccup here spotted out by Rumple, not going to engage just yet. And uh, again, uh, this is Domino sitting out. Feek's going to be coming in as the core with Zorn as their support Farsa. Now, uh, where did the little wanderer go? All right, it went over to Team Myanmar. They are up about 300 gold here. So far, so good for Myanmar, uh, given that their lineup is more fundamental. And I think Team Malaysia, uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, Chantel, the way that they should be taking this is they have to be aggressive. As soon as everyone, or at least most of them, reaches level four, they have to get in Myanmar's face. Yeah, actually, because uh, they have the Fars and the Ling on uh, their lineup, so it's more about the zone out and actually getting the kills for uh, Team Malaysia. I guess for Myanmar, they're just uh, taking the pace, actually going with the flow, because they need this Roger to go online. Roger oh. is actually a marksman player. They're preparing him for the real battle later mm -hmm. on on this game. So far, we're Team Malaysia. Yep, that's true. They need to be aggressive as early on for them to be able to actually neglect this uh, Roger with the kills. Mm -hmm. Although mm -hmm. this uh, Roger goes in with the killing spree, so maybe because it's about um, going in par with the link, if ever in terms of team fight later on, it's just that I'm feeling for Malaysia. Um, if they don't get aggressive, it will be it will backfire to them later mm -hmm. on at this game. Mm -hmm, for sure, for sure. So now the clock is ticking. This is essentially Malaysia's turn. If this was like a board game or a card game, this is their time to play their cards. But if they mm -hmm. don't, then it's going to go pass over to Myanmar at about six minutes. And then that's when Yellow Flash goes online. But first blood here drawn out by Lord Arts. He was just arts in the group stage. Now he has become a lord. And henceforth, he has drawn first blood onto Sham Sham Sham. Now another fight happening here in the river. Hiccup gonna be hit by Feeks. Gonna be linking out here. Oh no, DK up next. Feeks gets the finishing blow. And that is two for Malaysia. And I think they understood. They know how this game works. They read the rule book and they said, you know what? It's our turn. Let us show you how we play. Yeah, you want us to be aggressive, we're seeing you. I mean, we'll let you show how aggressive we can be. And again, guys, it's going to be another kill here for uh, Team Myanmar, though. But again, for uh, Malaysia, they're just going to back away against Myanmar. But uh, what's interesting here for Team Malaysia is that they don't have actually a hard tag for the lineup because uh, surprisingly for uh, this... Um, uh, for Rumpel, actually, he's using uh, this average spell. So uh, they are really for the team fight later on. We always just say that that you, if you have or if you're going for uh, the damage of the latter part of the game, it just means that you're ready for the bloodbath. For Team mm -hmm. Malaysia, in terms of their emblems here, that's a. I mean, we're pretty sure that uh, they're going to do that. So for Myanmar, it's all about the team um, uh, team composition. It's all about the um, the um, team fights. Yeah. Uh, we're seeing for them, they should be ready for that. And Turtle has been taken here, Myanmar, onto this game. So the more that Myanmar gets the objective, the more that uh, they will uh, close this gap in terms of gold against Malaysia. Yeah, but Team Malaysia knows exactly what has to happen. They have the blueprints. They see the floor plans here, Chantel, to the room called Victory. This is their house right now. 11K, 1,000 gold ahead. Up top, it's Royal Milk, but Yellow Flash spotters him out. Ooh. And that's going to be Feex with the Tempest of Blades disengaging. And this is what I'm talking about. Yellow Flash, they have to enable him to the point where he starts getting kills and snowballs. And he's about maybe a minute or two away from going online. Now, I think you're right. You mentioned earlier, objectives is the key to closing this gap and so close they are to making that happen but lord arts oh lord arts it's they're he's uh, making lord it hard arts. for them he's making it hard for them look he's just, yeah he's just beating down on the turrets yeah, and actually for uh, Myanmar, that is one bit of an issue for them because uh, the more they want to go for the team fight, they can do it because we have Lord Lord Ars here with the objectives. So I guess for uh, Myanmar, after they go for a kill, they should totally go for the objectives for, mm -hmm. for them to counter out this uh, Malaysian uh, gameplay that we are seeing right now. For Team yeah. Malaysia, they're just need providing space for uh, Felix Astro. But then again, here comes Ooh. the Tyrus Drift Edge, guys. It's going to be the Feather Air Strike killing out that one. Here comes ejector for royal mate but then it's gonna be versus three actually four here comes the top though 
PAK or probably Koopa getting a kill for Team Malaysia. It's gonna be 5 2 for the score. Malaysia just defending all the possibilities that Team Myanmar is throwing onto them. All right, it seems like they threw Royal Milk under the bus so that Sam 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 can take that turret. And I think that's a good deal. Chantel, I think that's a deal I'll take any day. Mm hmm. Right? Look at that! Like, I think Mal Myanmar here saw that line of play, forced Malaysia into it, and yeah, they they, they, they juggled uh, the turret's uh, aggression perfectly, but up top now, this is something that they need to answer. Oh, wow! Feek's able to just put in enough damage for the turret to go down, and he just engages. Yeah. Unpunished! They were, okay. Yeah, there were actually four players here from yeah. uh, Team Myanmar just defend the turret, but uh, he was able to take that one out. But oh, turret has was the stolen here. here. He just fights there and gets it. Though he's killed, but it was still a good uh, seal here by uh, DK. He just went in for the dive and actually getting that objective for in a four players, I guess, of Team Militia was trying to get the one. But again, here comes another team fight onto the middle lane. Here comes the vacuum. Yellow Flash getting a kill. A bit slow on life, but he is still yet alive for Team yeah. Malaysia. Finch boys doing work here. Ling, that is Fix just. Holding down on the joystick all the way down to his base. I'm out of here, he mm -hmm. said. And if if Royal Milk did not answer up top, I'm pretty sure Ozoraveki would have been able to push that turret in. But so far, Myanmar is already on to Team Malaysia's antics. They know that these two heroes here, the Cho and the Masha, just give him what? Two, three seconds with the turret, they will have their way. But it looks like they're waiting for this fight to be picked here down bottom, Yellow Flash. Still in human form is his Roger. Here's what's interesting. Um, you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. Chantel, that Team Mi Team Malaysia, no, I'm sorry, Team Myanmar, they want to go for team fights, right? But look at yep. the composition. Look at the kits of their heroes. They're all mostly single targets. But wait up, we'll talk about that later. Also, the back here, up in the wrong oh. bush, knocked out by Hiccup. And there you go. DK with another jump and a Tyrant's Rage onto Rumple. And the Popol and the Koopa, they are going to disengage here. Here he is, Tempest of Blades oh. by Fix. Hiccup knocked out, he can't breathe. There's DK, KO'd by Fix. And up next, Royal Milk. Fix is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. Smart Missile's not going to save you. Finished off by Rumpel. The dog is hungry. That's going to be three for one here in favor of Team Malaysia. That is actually counter initiation by uh, Malaysia against Myanmar. We saw DK really deep uh, on the map of uh, Malaysia, but then uh, they uh, turned out the series of events, so that was good. Actually, Fix brings us um, a little spice for his uh, performance onto this leg. He's actually in 304 for Myanmar. They need to stop this leg. And uh, speaking of a uh, leg, actually, we can see the lineup here of uh, Malaysia. It's more the physical uh, type of lineup. So I guess they're really for the kills or even for the third push. Speaking of third push, guys, it's going to be the second tier third here in the bottom lane taken down by Lord Arts. It's gonna be Lord Arts just doing the objectives for Malaysia. The more that he's doing it, the more the team and more needs to settle down in terms of objectives. I guess too much for the team fight. They should really focus on uh, minimizing the map control of Team Malaysia. But then again, on the reverse side, nice vacuum there. We have Yellow Flash getting a kill. Two players down by the side of the Malaysia team and more just giving us a little flavor. But again. Going back to the objectives, while that was happening, Masha was was actually taking down a turret against Myanmar. Ozaraveki, what a menace. Masha the menace. Now it looks like he <laughs> has Sam Sam Sam's attention. Goes ahead to visit uh, the uh, destruction, uh, should I say, uh, the um, deconstruction site that is their turret, and it goes down. Hold up, this is a fight that Sam 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 is picking, and uh, yeah, Ozaraveki disengages. Now, it looks like Team Malaysia is running circles around Myanmar. They're, they're losing little fights, maybe skirmishes, but they're owning mm -hmm. the turrets. Like, there's literally one left for Myanmar before the base. And I think Myanmar should watch out for that now. I think they should really just fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They see that maybe three or four members of Malaysia are there and force Ozdoroveki to answer. Because they really need this. Because if not, man, they can just go for the steel Team Malaysia. Yeah, actually, for uh, Malaysia, what's good about this is uh, whenever there's there's a team fight for uh, for Myanmar, uh, they just uh, gauge in for another uh, turtle. I mean, a uh, third objective against Myanmar. So I guess for uh, Myanmar, um, they should uh, actually secure at least two heroes or maybe 
a certain hero just yeah. to defend the turrets or else it's gonna backfire for them we have the top farmer of the game which is a fix so i guess for a militia that is a good story for them for myanmar though yep they're winning the team fights but again if your map control is really s small that is gonna be a bit of an issue yeah. for Myanmar. So I yeah. guess for Malaysia, they're go, uh, they're really going strong. Um, you don't need the team fight. You don't. You just need the objectives here. And speaking of team fight, or actually a pick off here for Team Malaysia. Here comes the Tempest of Blades. It's gonna Ooh. be Sam, Sam, Sam. So you got the hiccup. TK comes in though, but here comes the PNK. The Popol and Koopa is just there. And it's gonna be a disengage. So we we see the discipline here for Myanmar. They just just shutting out the side lanes the top lane earlier was being a get uh, was uh, gotten here by the masha but then again they're uh, just uh, negating the gameplay now of malaysia yeah team malaysia here playing mad macro all right so the way that they're playing uh, their macro here is much like micro right it, it's almost like every single button is a hero and they say i'll send you to top send you to bottom send you to mid and that's exactly what they're doing they're running circles once more i gotta say they're running circles around team myanmar and that's because of how mobile zorn peaks lord art and ozuraveki are i mean rumble is the only one that you'll see moving around the map fairly for sure you have to walk the dog properly but nonetheless team malaysia here they have a frequent flyers card on them and it looks like royal milk caught out ozuraveki full combo not gonna be enough rumpel bites down and stops the little robot and baby girl royal milk bites it and hiccup couldn't do couldn't do anything he just watches because again that's maybe what the, yeah maybe the question uh, for your royal milk at the time was are you lost baby girl because literally uh, royal milk was uh, on a different uh, oh, um, position, um yeah. position of the map so i guess for uh, team and mar if they want to close or seal the deal against malaysia they need to as much as possible they are for the team fight so I'm not pretty sure if they want to go individually against Malaysia on this one because it is Malaysia more on the DPS. Yeah. We have the Farza and we talked about that earlier. They don't have a hard tag. So they're literally oh. bringing damage there. Yeah, look at this. While Team Malaysia is bothering Lord, literally not even taking Lord, they're just bothering Lord. It looks like Lord Arts was able to go ahead and take top turret. Like they have been penetrated, Team Myanmar. And just like that it just becomes so much harder for team myanmar to move like they have to constantly send someone to clear top lane yeah actually and uh i would say that your uh, uh type of type of a uh, composition that goes in for the team fight i guess you're really meant for a 5v5 if you have a single player that goes to defend the single lane that's already a minus in terms of team fight the damage it's just lacking for you unlike for team militia they have the masha it actually has three um life uh, bars here against myanmar but i guess for militia though they're just about the damage they're just about the objectives here and again a tk is already low on life he goes in for the flicker out the fix is there for the deficit of blades oh my god tk goes in but again he's dead by the hands of fix on the side of team militia also Becky, the varsity of militia just running but then for Malaysia, after the pick-off, they will go for another objective. The discipline is just there. Yep, and Chantel, don't get me started on Rumpel's Popol and Koopa doing so much work mm -hmm. here, stopping so much from Team Myanmar. And there you go, they're gonna burst him down as I speak about it, but no! Royal Milk is gonna go first! Ozerveki though traded out here for Royal Milk, but DK is still missing in action. Royal Flash! assassinated by fakes and i guess this is them uh free for the lord can they take it i think they should this this is a a smart plan unless they want to take out sham 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 first then step is the blades zorn here gonna help out fakes gets the kill secured and yeah team myanmar they can't go for the steal this should be malaysia yeah. Actually, for uh, Malaysia, um, uh, Fix here just bring about damage for the team. He actually goes in for the dive against two players without having other members of the team with him. So, uh, Malaysia, they're really confident right now uh, for the damage for Myanmar. I'm uh, just guessing that they need this Luo Yi to bring wonders 
for the team. We know that Luoyi can uh, bring about the uh, different uh, spices for a team. And mm -hmm. we're not seeing right now. They have the Roger for the lineup. Um, I just think that Myanmar lacks on the engagement or the initiation. They're just being reactive with this uh, team Malaysia kind of gameplay. We have the Lord now for Malaysia. It's going to be 14 8 for the score. The goal lead now is almost, or uh, actually, uh, almost 7k here on this game. And I like the itemization here of a PNK. He actually goes in for the Deadly Blade because the Dominance Ice. Imagine that you're negating the life steal here, even the spell back of your enemies, but slowing them. So uh, that's uh, good. And you mentioned Rumpel's uh, PNK earlier. Yeah. He's just there zoning out the players of Myanmar. I think that's what di what's difficult for Myanmar because yeah. uh, there is this uh, uh, Koopa that yeah. uh, zones them. And Chantel, before that big team fight breaks out again, wow, off camera kill by Ozoraveki. I gotta say, that Hayabusa ban might have been for naught. Like, it, it wouldn't have mattered, maybe even for Malaysia, because Rumpel is carrying so much weight here. He's blocking so much, especially from Royal Milk. Like, Ejector and Unstoppable Force, it's so hard to get that in, especially with Koopa in the way. And now all turrets are down. Myanmar. With a defense of a lifetime, Lord Arts with Ooh. the full combo, Tempest of Blades here by Fix, confirming the kill onto Hiccup. This base, this base is about to get demolished. There you go. Better there strike by Zorn. It's over. Team Malaysia takes game one. What a game! What a game for uh, that game.